Hello my fellow Latter-day Saints, Kenzie Retro, the Mormon Entertainer here, the most inspirational moment in all of Asia. Back once again with another episode of Tom and Jerry's Sins today. Episode 24 now, Solid Serenade. Here we go. Usual rules apply. Um, ah, yes. The sin glasses are on. Let's do this. Not only is that the same music that's been recycled from the first episode, it is the exact same music from the previous episode! Shouldn't the name on his kennel read Spike? Now, first instinct, if I was Spike, not Killer, is I see cat! I will kill said cat! And the infamous fake gunshot on point of impact cliche. Okay, since when did Spike decide to become a uh, bunny rabbit? The double bass would have broken long before that point. How is he getting that far up? As impressive as that looks, it would not be possible. Wouldn't Jerry have been woken up long before now? Aw, oh, what's the matter Jerry? Are you jealous? And that's a no-no. I'll talk about convenience. And the strings would have snapped, making the return of the unrealistic physics! And doing that should only result in one sound. Or one note, not multiple. Why can I only see three strings on that double bass? There should be four! And that's a trip to the vet. That does it! That's all I can stand! I can't stand no more! <laughs> he shouldn't be strong enough to lift that iron and putting it into that pie, making sure that uh, Tom feels the full force of the impact. He shouldn't be strong enough to be able to lift the pie and throw it because of the iron being in it. Also, the iron should be sticking out. And that should result in a trip to the vet for Tom. The first one doesn't stop him, but the second one has him clocking onto the fact it was Jerry. How does he know it was Jerry to begin with? Wow. That's a lot of dishes we're going to need to replace. Uh, no, that should be a broken neck. Uh, hmm, shouldn't that result in... Um, problems? Untying the knot? Because that should not be possible here. The way the knot is tied up, it should not be able to get undone, just like that. Oh, for crying out loud, guys, you couldn't even make the knots realistic? Seriously? He has a spare set of teeth for such an event like this? Number one, Spike is not a train. Number two, he is not a bear. And no, that does not work. Why do they not do this more often? And yet he still acts like a clueless idiot and gets hit by the brick anyway. Seriously?
Tom being blamed for something Jerry did, cliche. Come on, boys. Go get it. Come on. Where did his big teeth go? Also, why is he acting like a dog who wants to play fetch with his owner? Oh, now he realizes he's being played for. He is wasting time kissing a girl of his affection rather than using that time to get away as far away from Spike as possible. Oh, now Spike does what uh, I would have done in this situation. I love you. And recycled dialogue from previous episodes. See the flames. A big roaring flame. As soon as you look at the cat, you can clearly not tell that it is Spike you are kissing. All you have to do is, everyone say with me now, open your eyes. Oh, now he notices! Spike, he is holding what is so difficult about biting his arm and then eating him alive! He salutes to Spike. Spike is not looking behind him. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Evil maniacal laugh, spelling someone's doom cliche. How did Tom not spot the fact that Spike was also in there? Well, since I didn't do it in the last episode, I might as well double the sync count here because that is the most unrealistic sound design I have seen in quite some time. Because, and I'm not including the fake gunshots here because they're pretty much a cliche at this point. The noise they should be making with uh, causing carnage to the kennel. There should be sound effects going with that. Not just music. This ain't a silent movie, guys. Come on. Also, where did his name tag go on the kennel? And you are not Stretch Armstrong. Writing a will? Seriously? Oh, now the crashing comes into play. <laughs> Why does that tune sound so familiar? Also, just one more thing. Where did all the strings go? And thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I'll see you again next week. Thank you and good night. He's wasting time getting kisses. Nope. Well, 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 well. That's another episode out of the way. Where do we go from here? We'll need to wait and see. In the meantime, I hope you enjoyed what you saw. If you did, as always, hit the thumbs up. And if you want to be baptized into following this channel, hit the subscribe button down at the bottom, click the bell to join the latter day scenes notification squad so you don't miss anything I do on this channel. On the left, you've got my previous episode. And on the right, my dedicated playlist. For the Until next time, folks, I'll see you again very soon. Enjoy the rest of your day. Peace out. Stay faithful, as always.